Hey there folks, welcome back to Poison Jam Builds a Base. I'm just going to give you a quick update about the new JBK 10 project. I'm going to be staining the maple fretboard a darker color, and I'm going to be pulling these frets and replacing them with something else. And if all goes right, I'm also going to be pulling and replacing these inlays, but I may have to uh, rely on stickers for those. We'll see what it comes to. But in the meantime, I just wanted to give you a quick update where I show you how I've learned to pull these. And what I've realized is I have uh, a really essential tool. These pliers right here critically have a very flat end on them and uh, you can use these to pry up the frets without doing damage to the fretboard. Now initially on my first uh, fret, you'll see I've already removed one before recording this. I think I discolored the maple fretboard um, by applying a little bit too much heat to it, uh, but because I use this protective shield to make sure I didn't hit anywhere on the maple fretboard, but this imparted a small scratch. So I am not going to be using this, but the technique will remain the same. You will need a soldering iron and these type of pliers. So you want to uh, make sure that the fret is warm, especially if it's glued down. This is to make sure that it's easier for you to pull it and will also reduce the chances that you will end up um, damaging the wood as you ply the fret out. So this takes a while. These are not terribly heat conductive. It takes a little while for uh, these things to start heating up and you want to see if they're warm to the touch. Keep heating them up until they're a bit warm to the touch and probably not uh, probably uncomfortable. You want to evenly heat them up across. Oh. This can take a while. You want to make sure that it's starting to hold its heat. That's when you know it's about ready. Get your pliers. This is why it's critical to have flats. Flat tips. Get your pliers under and just wedge them under. And actually you shouldn't need to apply much upwards pressure. Simply by shimming these pliers along, the fret should start coming out. Reapply heat as necessary. And continue shimming along. Slow process will reduce the chance that you do damage to the fretboard on the pole. slower you go, better chance you have of reducing damage. But at a certain point, it'll mostly just come loose. I do not believe these are glued in, so this makes this job quite a bit easier. There we go. 
we have removed a fret and we've prevented any damage to the fretboard in doing so. So basically repeat that about 20 times and you now have pulled all the frets on your fretboard. Uh, long, arduous process, but it'll be worth it for the plan that I'm doing. But until the next vlog update, uh, assume I'm doing this and also sanding that. Uh, I've just done it all and decided to take another quick video. If you're patient and take your time, you can get this done with a minimum of chip out in between the frets. In fact, I had two minor cases of chip out that might have been visible on the fretboard. Both of those happened when, when I was rushing a little bit. All right, cheers.